Right now, the 110 is shifterless. So we stripped out the shifter. Now, thank goodness we didn't strip out the shaft. So that's definitely a good thing. This is uh, my daughter's bike. If you're not familiar with the channel, um, I ride it pretty frequently too, but this thing's a monster. 128 kit, full suspension all the way around. Tall bars, obviously. GoPro on it, you can see just how bad these handlebars have been. We are good to go. Stops, idles, no problem. Prior to today, this thing would just cut off every time you stopped, regardless of how the weather was. So now that we got it uh, tuned up and running right, it's gonna be a lot easier for Mason and uh, ultimately a lot easier for me. What's going on, guys? So I'm gonna make a really quick video here, it shouldn't take too long. If anybody has a TTR 50 and is having idle issues and cannot seem to find that idle air screw, that fuel mixture screw, it is located right behind this little welch plug right here. And in order to get to it, you got to drill it out. It's a little windy out here, so I'm trying to uh, be as easy on the camera as possible. All right, guys, so I took a small metal boring two millimeter bit and just ate straight through that welch plug. So now what we gotta do is we gotta find something that's gonna bite down in there so we can pull that thing out. So what this thing is, it it's a pressure fitted plug. So it's basically, it's put in there with force and what'll happen is when you're drilling, if you push down too hard, you can risk pushing it in there further, closer to your mixture screw. So. What you wanna do is you wanna push down hard enough just to get through the plug. So we've got two different screws that we're gonna try. One's a wood screw, one's a metal screw. Um, coarse threads versus the other. And basically what you wanna try to do is get it in there enough to bite down. Then once you get it to bite down, you can basically wiggle it right on out. All right, so we're gonna try the really fine thread first. You want to apply a little pressure and screw in just a little bit at a time to ensure that it's biting down in there and you can kind of hear it and you can see it twisting around and that'll tell us that we've got enough of the screw in there where we can start working it out. Just like that, she's out of there. All you gotta do is uh, clean that area out and you'll see that welch plug, super small. It's basically in there so you can't go in there and mess around too much with the screw, but let me tell you, having the ability to adjust your idle makes all the difference if you have really variable weather like you do in North Carolina. So I don't want to hook up the air compressor just for this, so we'll just spray a little carb cleaner down in there, and that will get us clean enough to get the job done. All right, guys, it's just like that. She is back idle and clean. To increase the idle, you're gonna, uh, Tighten it up to the right, lower the idle down, gonna go back down to the left. And that's it, man, nothing to it. Now we gotta bring it down just a little bit. And just like that, she is good to go. the GoPro on it you can see just how bad these handlebars have been. I have to get a new set on here for, for Mason. But um yeah otherwise otherwise we are good to go. Stops idles no problem. Prior to today this thing would just cut off every time you stopped regardless of how the weather was so now that we got it uh tuned up and running right it's gonna be a lot easier for mason and uh 
ultimately a, a lot easier for me. All right, so once you got your idle right, then you can come back here to this mixture screw right here where the head of this screwdriver is and adjust it just slightly. Give it a little bit of fuel. See how long it takes to come back down to idle. We're gonna have to bring it down just a little bit more. Check it out now. There we go, it's about right. Right now the 110 is shifterless. So we stripped out the shifter now. Thank goodness we didn't strip out the shaft. So that's definitely a good thing. This is uh, my daughter's bike. If you're not familiar with the channel, this thing's a monster. 128 kit, full suspension all the way around. Tall bars, obviously. If this helped you out at all, let us know by dropping a like on this video, subscribe to the channel. And if you like kid bikes in general, or having fun, this is the spot for you. Again, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, catch you in the next one.